Listen up! 10 Tips to Protect Your Home from Burglary You know, burglars don't care who you are. They just want whatever precious stuff you have. According to the FBI's yearly Uniform Crime Report, in 2016, the damage caused by burglaries in the USA alone reached an astonishing $3.5 billion. What's worse, burglars usually try to get rid of stolen loot as soon as possible. So the chances of getting your property back are slim to none. About 20%. Brightside is bringing you the most common schemes burglars usually stick by. Armed with this information, it'll be easier for you to keep your property safe. Counting down from number 10. Burglars prefer easy targets. Now, to burglarize a house, a thief can take anywhere from 90 seconds to 12 minutes. Most of this time is actually spent on just locating valuables and taking them out, not the initial breaking into the home. That's why criminals tend to choose easy targets. For example, first-floor apartments, homes with their windows or doors open, and houses that are difficult to see from the street. To avoid unpleasant surprises, follow these recommendations. Always close the front door to your apartment or house along with the windows and the door to the balcony, if you have one. If you live on the first or second floor, put bars on the windows. Yeah, it looks a little scary, but it's worth it. And always remember to lock all doors and windows when you leave. Don't leave your keys under the doormat or in any other stereotypical hiding places. It's much better to give a spare copy to someone you trust. Also, get an alarm. Burglars can easily pick most locks with the help of a screwdriver or a lockpick. But in most cases, an alarm will scare them off. Hey, get a dog! And it doesn't even need to be a huge threatening-looking breed. Burglars aren't so much afraid of the animal itself or the chances of getting bitten as they are of the noise that barking creates. It also attracts unwanted attention that they try to avoid at all costs. So even a cute little ankle biter will do the trick. Just get one with a really big bark. Now bigger than that. Yeah, that's one. That's a chihuahua? Wow. Uh, number 9. Burglars don't like difficulties. Criminals are ready to spend no more than 5 minutes on getting into a house or apartment. After that, the stakes become too high and they prefer to ditch the plan. So, to make these guys' lives a whole lot harder and to protect your property, it's enough to install some additional locks or a security system. Number 8. Criminals look for vulnerable spots. People often overlook vulnerable places in their homes, such as small windows or basement wells. However, burglars take advantage of these weak spots to easily get into your residence. That's why you should install locks and grating on all the entrances to your home, not just the big obvious ones. Number 7. Burglars love empty houses. The highest number of apartment and house burglaries happen in July and August, when most people are away on vacation. How do criminals know the house is empty? There are a lot of ways, but the easiest one is seeing how much clutter has accumulated in the mailbox. Uh-huh. The more hands-on burglars may even stick a flyer on your front door or put a cookie under the doormat. If after some time they see that the flyer is still there and the cookie isn't crushed, it's a sure sign that the homeowners are away. And what a criminal waste of a cookie! To avoid this potential danger, try doing the following. If you'll be gone for a long period of time, ask your friends or neighbors to look after your house and check your mail. Regularly empty the mailbox yourself and don't leave advertising leaflets hanging on your door. Shut your curtains or blinds. If they're drawn wide open, it's just way too easy for burglars to go window shopping. Number 6. Burglars survey the house before invading it. Criminals tend to test the waters before committing a burglary. A really common tactic is visiting homes pretending to be public utility workers. This way, they can check when the owners are out as well as make sure the house is even worth robbing. They can even use a special system of symbols and hieroglyphics to mark doors or mailboxes of places that they've already checked. Man, these guys have a lot of free time on their hands, don't they? 
These symbols can change and differ from country to country. But if you notice something similar, it might be a good idea to stay alert. To keep yourself out of this predicament, always remember this advice. If you get a random visit from a plumber or electrician, the best idea would be to call the managing company and make sure they really sent this person. Don't use the number your uninvited guest provides, it's probably fake. Watch your mailbox and the front door for any suspicious signs. If you notice something, don't hesitate to contact the police. Don't keep your keys or valuable things where anybody can see them. One quick glance and the burglar will memorize their location. Wow, seems these guys are seriously prepared. But are they as prepared as telephone scammers who cheat people out of their money? You can arm yourself with knowledge by watching this video about the latest telephone scams. The link is at the top of the screen, okay? Now back to burglars! Number 5. Criminals hunt for small objects and know where to find them. Let's get one thing straight. Burglars are interested in money, jewelry, and electronics. But if they catch a glimpse of your favorite designer clothing and bags, expensive perfume, medicines, or weapons, they won't say no to those items either. To avoid this threat, keep your money in the bank. As for jewelry and other valuable belongings, it would be better to find a safe place for them. And don't even think about throwing them in a cupboard, sock drawer, shoebox, or bookcase. Criminals are well aware of these common hiding places and ransack them first. However, they would be unlikely to rummage through all the food in your fridge or kitchen cabinets. Well, not unless they're really hungry burglars. Save the serial number of all your electronics – mobile phones, computers, gaming consoles, etc. – in a separate file. Mark the most expensive objects with a UV marker. It'll help you identify them if they're found. This way, you can slightly increase your chances of getting your stolen items back. Number 4. Criminals are social media savvy. Whenever you upload your latest vacation pictures on Facebook or Instagram, remember that they can be seen not only by your friends and family, but also by those who would love nothing more than to explore your empty apartment. And it can be easily located based on the geotags on the photos you took at home. Also, burglars can use social media sites to decide whether or not your apartment is worth their time and effort. To avoid this situation, you really need to control yourself on your favorite social media platforms. Don't reveal too much personal information about yourself on the interwebs. Don't write about your travel plans and don't upload pics while you're still at your vacay destination. Don't upload photos of your valuable things, money, or big purchases. Just the picture of that triple scoop hot fudge sundae you had for dessert. Mm -mm. Don't friend people you don't know. It's harsh, but that's reality. Number 3. Criminals can use your own stuff to get inside the house. Burglars are opportunistic, so they'll search the vicinity for any objects that can help them get into your house. If they can get their hands on it, they'll use your own screwdriver or ladder to break into your house and steal your stuff. How bold! They can also use rocks, bricks, or heavy tools to force their way in. And garbage cans, stools, or ladders left outside are great for climbing over the fence or into a window. If you don't want to assist in the burglary of your own home, put all your tools, ladders, and yard equipment in the garage. Keep them in a shed, or just take them inside. Don't leave anything that can be used to break into your house just lying around outside. That includes big sticks or tree branches, rocks, and bricks. Number 2. Burglars can come up with different excuses to get in. One of the schemes criminals may employ is coming up with some crazy or pitiful stories in order to get into your home. I mean, these guys invent hieroglyphics, create stories. Why don't they put their talents to good use? Anyway, they'll come to your door, tell you that their dog has just run away, and ask you to check if it somehow got into your house. If you agree, the best case scenario is that they'll get a visual of your home. But in the worst case scenario, you'll be missing your wallet or purse after their departure. 
If you're not so willing to part with your precious things, never ever let strangers enter your house, no matter how desperate they seem. Even if you decide to help search for the probably non-existent dog inside your house. You again? Well, be sure to lock the door first and don't let the visitors in. And number 1. Distraction burglaries are on the rise. A distraction burglary scheme is simple. One criminal tries to occupy all your attention while his accomplice secretly gets into the house. Actually, the lost dog story is one of these types. Oh, knock it off. Hey, where's my stuff? Anyway, another distraction scheme that's even more popular is the emergency situation. A person pretending to be a utility worker will appear at your door looking frantic and inform you that there's a water main break nearby or a gas leak or whatever. So they've come to save the day and turn off your supply. While you're taking them to, let's say, the basement, their partner will empty out your house right behind your back. Uh, or above your head. Eh, you get it. So, here's what you can do to prevent this situation. Don't open the door if you aren't sure who's knocking. Even if you're mostly convinced with the story, still call a trustworthy neighbor and ask them to check the perimeter of your home. If you're persuaded to evacuate your home, lock all the doors and other entryways into the house, windows, balconies, and so on. Have you heard any other stories about the sneaky ways burglars get into the house? Tell us in the comments below! Share this video with your friends so that they can protect their homes too! Remember to give us a like and subscribe to our channel because there's always loads of interesting videos on the bright side of life!